Legendary. There it is. It's gonna level slower, but I don't care. I wanted that because I hate grinding for freaking eyes. Let's go. Snail acquired. And of course, we are going to need to give the snail a mining XP boost. There he is. And I guess next stream, we're gonna have to give the battle pet a much deserved 1 million combat xp boost from bestiary so here's the thing i'm gonna keep farming cocoa beans even after stream but i'll make sure to stop right before i get enough for replenish i just wanted to like get some footage of this out there so that it's not just like hey chess suddenly i have enough for replenish like you can see the process Hey guys, we're back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock and my hair is a mess today. But anyway, I've returned after three days of no stream. That's the first time that's happened since this profile started and I apologize. But I have a good excuse. I decided, for those that were not caught up, I participated in a mining fiesta from Mayor Cole. I did that on stream, collected enough rubies to finally craft a freaking gauntlet. We have a gauntlet and then i asked stream i was like do you think it'd be a good idea for me to get up at four in the morning and do a second mining fiesta a lot of people said no hang out with your girlfriend because that's what i was going to do the day after but here's what i did here's the big brain strat i had my friends over because i was supposed to have my friends over we played some beat saber it was fun after they left i went straight to bed i slept four hours got up did the second mining fiesta and then went back to bed at 8 in the morning. I woke up at like 11. So I ended up getting about 7 hours of sleep and participating in the festival. So boom! That's how you do it. That's how you make progress. So instead of Ruby, I went for Topaz. And then I ran out of Topaz to get. If that's a spoiler, I'm sorry. And then I went into Jade. And then I maxed out Jade. Maxed out. And then I went to Amber. And then that's when the fiesta ended. Now, I also did some farming off camera. I finished the cocoa bean thingy. So as you can see, I put another layer of mycelium down on the island because I figured why not? We need a lot of mycelium. And it, if I'm gonna do farming, I might as well let the mycelium spread to the rest of the layer. But do you, do you want to see the fruits of my labor off stream? Look at this gemstone gauntlet. It has three flawless gemstones in it jade amber and most importantly topaz and if we go to the yog armor which is three-fourths jaded wise helmet 5,000 kills on it so it gets the max mining speed it also has epic gemstones for pristine as well as mining fortune on the whole set so yeah now i want to show you what my stats look like. Was that the ca Look at the camera. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at that face. Here's another thing I did off screen. I ended up getting the 1 million combat XP drop while having the battle equipped. It is now level 86. Let's check out our stats. Since it has heated on it, the stats get better the lower you go. So just to get a, a screenshot basically of how good my stats are in mining. There we go. So the battle pet's ability as I'm sure most of you know, the most important one is made of lava. Gain, for now, 13% of all stats when inside of the magma fields. It's only level 86. I gotta get it to level 100. I am aware. But this is the best I can manage for now. We have this gemstone uh, gauntlet that's on heated. We have the mostly jaded yog. And let's take a look at our stats when it comes to mining. So we have a mining speed of just under 4,000. 4,000, just under 4,000 mining speed, 675 mining fortune, and 14 pristine. 14. May I remind you, chat, this profile is one month and 11 days old. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> and we have 14 pristine. Now, I don't feel bad for doing that second fiesta off stream. It was just a whole lot of topaz mining. Nothing really interesting. I used the topaz spot... Uh, as it turns out, it's not very competitive at all. It's really the Ruby that's the most competitive for some reason. That and Jade. Jade was pretty toxic. Um, but I managed to make it through. 
so now i get um flawless gemstones in like just under a half an hour not even probably even earlier than that like 20 minutes so now i can get like roughly three of them an hour which is insanity that means in like an hour and a half just under two hours i can get a perfect gemstone which means if i really wanted i could spend 10 hours and then get the golden gauntlet i could it's not worth it right now but i could do it so i, I don't know maybe if we get another fiesta i'll do that but i just wanted to point out our mining progression is finally in a place that I like. Now, I think the next step is going to be, in terms of mining at least, I need to get 500 commissions done so that I get the Royal Pigeon. Now, in order to do that, I could continue doing Crystal Hollows like I have been. Also, I do have some dailies here that I can redeem. We gotta get that Royal Pigeon. Now, we're just over halfway. So, I'm considering maybe powder grinding to the point where i can get efficient miner to a decent amount and then do a whole bunch of that in the dwarven mines dwarven commissions are stupid fast when you have high levels of efficient miner so that might be the way to go but i think we can take a break for like sweating mining for now um so we're gonna get back to this later let's show what else happened uh i believe i got an enchanting level off screen for 800,000 coin i farmed a bunch of cane off screen and i finished the cookies i mentioned i finished the cookies this is a grind that i don't think i can emphasize enough how awful it is remember all that gemstone grinding that i did like 10 hours of it yeah um about i would say at least five hours probably more like 10 was spent breaking cocoa bean crafting cookies replacing them it's the replacing that was the problem breaking the cocoa bean was like five percent of the work the other 95% was just replanting it all again. But yes, finally, we have enchanted cookies. Enough of them to make a replenish book. And I'm putting it on the cocoa chopper if I could find it. There it is. And then we never have to deal with that grind ever again. And I spared you that suffering by doing it off screen. But I can't express enough how awful that was. It was... Yeah, and there we go. I sold some cane. So now we have a little bit of spending money, which is cool. All right, let's get this replenish thing out of the way. This is this. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Huh. Replenish one. Yes. I have been waiting for so long. It's finally done. Also, I got five Titanics from those enchanting minigames off screen. So that was pretty awesome. All right. 45 levels to put replenish one on the cocoa chopper boom now as far as i remember you can't put harvesting on an axe right the only thing we can put on this is turbo cocoa and then um if i was insane cultivating but i'm not gonna do that so we have replenish on the cocoa chopper therefore we never have to replant crops ever again which is amazing i mean we're gonna have to get replenish books for every single tool but we can deal with that later uh, what's something else that happened off screen oh okay so this is a cool thing look at the slime minion 217,000 coins are in the the budget hopper that's insane and the reason why that's insane is because i already took 30,000 coins out of it by accident because i wasn't paying attention it's been like three days and that's a budget hopper not a regular like an enchanted hopper that gives 90%. That only gives 50% of NPC sell price. Which means that that thing would have had like 400k waiting for me. Had I just let it sit. So, uh, proof of concept. Incredible levels of success. As it turns out, yeah, that, that works. I had the minion down specifically for sulfur collection. The, the budget hopper money really just happened by accident. So, um, I mean, cool. We also got Totem of Corruption recipe, which honestly... Ooh, that requires a stack of magma chunk. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's not, not yet, but that's okay. We can deal with that later. I also got the recipe for the nether sack. Now, if you guys remember a couple streams ago, I went out of my way to grind 20 catalyds. So let's actually do that, shall we? I... I'm always up for having less space taken up in chests by garbage. So let's do it. Yes. And now we don't have to deal with that anymore. I also got the sea creature artifact recipe off screen, which is insane. Uh, mostly because of that little exploit that I did. 
<laughs> um, so there you go. Sea creature artifact recipe has been unlocked. It's a stack of enchanted sponge but luckily enchanted sponge actually has a pretty cheap recipe as it turns out i already have most of a stack of enchanted sponge and i only need to get three stacks and 45 more sponge to actually finish this off so let's quickly do that one two three a stack in 40 or three stacks in 48 stack of enchanted sponge i'm way too early in the game to be doing what i'm about to do but here we go <laughs> sea creature artifact nice anyways there you go sea creature artifact that's a talisman i honestly probably shouldn't have access to at this stage of the game but i do so that's cool oh here's another thing here's the benefit of letting a profile sit for a little bit without playing the minions have been busy the entire time which means if I collect at least the chicken minions, an opportunity has shown itself yet again. Do you want to see me test some RNG with a super enchanted egg, perhaps? Because I'm ready to try my RNG with a super enchanted egg. Now, the next pet on my radar is the Mithril Golem, because a lot of people have been asking me, when are you going to go for Sorrow? what's the plan i i like my magic fine but sorrow is a little in, annoying to grind uh so i need every buff i can get now i'm sure a lot of us know that the best damaging pet at least in the dwarven mines is the mithril gall i don't have the recipe well never freaking mind okay you know what's funny it like oh, oh. enchanting 60 on a profile that's a month and 11 days old there you go 40.2 skill average alchemy 50 enchanting 60 in terms of like base intelligence stats now we're maxed other than um the ones that you buy from dungeons and the harp i know people aren't looking forward to farming but this is kind of a big moment for me i've off camera grinded 10 freaking hours just so that i can get replenish on a cocoa chopper so i'm sorry but this is for me this is a moment that like i've been looking forward to for a long freaking time and i put these signs up ideal speed 105 so we're gonna we're gonna get this out of the way right now because it's it's gonna be therapeutic for me after 10 hours of freaking bean farming i get to do this that's so satisfying oh it's incredible yeah this is so satisfying to watch this is like 5% of the cocoa process if you're getting replenished. The other 95% is replanting. So what you're watching right now is the culmination of like 10 hours of gameplay basically condensed into like 20 minutes. This is just amazing. Not okay, 10 hours is an exaggeration. Replanting all of this would probably take like three hours. But I had to do it several times to get the recipe. How did you get so much money in this profile? The first big hit of money was um, cobblestone generator on the private eye. I sold all the rock pets because rock, um, because rock cobblestone on the private island counts as an ore, despite what the wiki says. It does work. I have tested it in the field recently, so has chat. Anyway, selling all the rock pets and uh, crafting. Well, I would say selling the cobblestone, but I'm an Iron Man. I can't do that. So. I made about 13 million from the whole thing. So that was cool. Um, and then the second big hit of money was going for Alchemy 50, which is when I basically farmed like 25 million sugar cane. And then I brewed it into potions, put glowstone in the potions, regular glowstone instead of enchanted. And then I sold the NPC and um, I made, an oh yeah. So I made about 15 million coins doing that. So 30 million coins. And then the third big hit of money was probably just leveling up skills like a madman. Like not only getting alchemy 50, but getting taming 50, enchanting 60. But yeah, I made big bank off of getting several skills to 50 and or 60, especially enchanting. I just got a million coins today from doing that. So that, that's the third big hit of coins and probably in total is about 10 mil so far. So yeah. I've been making much coin from various things. Really